Hey guys, so originally my video was going to be a show vlog, but I kind of felt it was more necessary to do a rant about the show instead because the vlog is just anger. There's nothing really great about it, just anger, but anyways, let's begin. So to start off with the day, I was taking another girl with me, which whatever, we were just heading up to a city not far from us, so whatever, it was a small little place. But anyways, the day started off with her horse not loading. So we spent an hour trying to get this horse in and it never happened. So I went alone and that was my first time ever going alone. Well, that didn't go as planned at all. Start of the day after we couldn't get her loaded, it was 3.30 in the morning that I got up and we were supposed to be on the road by 4.30 ish to get there but we didn't I didn't end up leaving until quarter after five and I got to the barn or the show I guess it was around 7 30 ish and the show started at eight but I wasn't in the first class so anyways get there go get signed in and stuff but I mean it's normal stuff there but anyways that was all going smoothly and then I signed up for when I wanted to go. Up at that show, it was order of go, so you got to choose when you wanted to compete in your class. So I chose to go in the second group of the X-Rails, so then I had more time to get ready and warm up and stuff. But anyways, I got her unloaded and I got her tacked up. I had her saddle on. And then next thing you know, it was windy and there was temporary stalls kind of just behind my trailer. And there were some girls from my city from a different barn had their horses in there and the entire thing just collapsed almost. Like the roof was coming off and the tarp was blasting so my horse was freaking out. But at the same time, I felt the need to go and help them get horses out of that stall area because otherwise they were going to get a roof on them and that's just seriously not right at all. So anyways, I went and grabbed a horse and some stuff, and yeah. And then I came back to my horse who was freaking out and whatever, so I went and took her into the barn arena area where we were going to be riding, and I got her bridle on, and before I knew it, like, my class was already in the arena to warm up. Because what the thing was is that we were in the arena to warm up where we competed because there was only one arena, so everyone in that class warmed up together and we all like did everything together in that division because that's how it had to go. But by the time I got in there, the flat class, the flat portion of the warm up was already done and they were jumping and no one knew anything and half the girls weren't warmed up at all. So going into the X rails, half of us weren't warmed up. So it's kind of like, okay, like really no one got time to do anything, but whatever. Honestly, it was X rails, so I didn't really need much warm up, but Anyways, got into the X-Rails and my horse decided to be a freak and spook at the people at the end of the arena. So it was the last line. So it was the basic one jump, um, diagonal outside line, diagonal outside line. And then we went to the final diagonal going past the people and I don't know what spooked her, but she took off. I lost my stirrups, almost came off, but I got myself went back around to that last diagonal line and finished off that course. And the last two X-Rail courses went, okay, I placed fifth in my Handy Hunter X-Rails and that was it for that. So there's only one group of two foot, so I was immediately right into my two foot class, which was perfect so then I didn't have time to think about it and just go. So I went in, warmed up, got ready and stuff and yeah. Two foot went okay. The first class she was popping all the jumps really high and I ended up ripping out half of her braids. But honestly, I would rather rip out braids than come off. So yeah, that went okay. And I got, I got two sixths and a fifth in my three two foot classes. So in all, I placed four out of my six classes, which Honestly, it's pretty good considering what happened in that morning. So the next thing about what was going on was they hadn't fixed the roof on that temporary shelter yet. So that tarp on the roof 
was still flapping. And my trailer was right there and I had no one with me to help. So I tied up my horse and I went into the trailer to get her stuff ready so I could get her loaded in and go. Well, next thing you know, I turn around, my horse is freaking out, breaks her halter, excuse me, breaks her halter and completely just takes off. So she has no halter on, nothing, and her lead rope is stuck to the side of the trailer. So I have to go into the trailer, grab another halter, whatever, and try and catch her. So a few minutes later, I get her caught thanks to some help to uh, the other people that were there, and I bring her back to the trailer. And that was a nylon halter she broke. It was an old one. We've had it since we bought her, so I wasn't overly worried about it. But the next one I had was a leather halter with her name on it. And I went into the back part of the trailer where she was going to go to fill up her hay bag so it wouldn't blow away in the wind with the hay. And I look out the window and she's freaking out again. And she ends up breaking that leather halter. So now I'm looking for like the head stall piece of it. But anyways, I gotta get that replaced now somehow. And she takes off again. And of course, that lead rope is completely stuck now. I can't get it off, so I'm like, you know what, whatever, just forget it. Went and grabbed my luckily extra halter that I had. I ended up bringing two extras. I don't know why, but I did that day. And anyways, so I had to go and try and catch her again. Well, that didn't go as planned. She wouldn't let me catch her and whatever. So after I got her, whatever, brought her back to the trailer and I put her in the trailer and then I went to go put in her hay bag and she flips out again. Honestly, I don't know what was going on. She never freaks out at shows. She is always so good. Honestly, I don't know what happened or if it was just the tarp that was freaking her out or what. That's the only explanation I have because she's been to that show and we've been in that area to tack up all the time. Like we've been there at least three times in the same spot tacking up. And just this past time she freaked out. So I don't know what it was. The only thing different was the flapping tarp. But anyways, she freaked out in the trailer. She ended up going backwards as quickly as she physically could to get out of it. And then luckily she stopped at the fence that was right behind us because there was grass. So I was able to catch her. And then I just quickly finished up her hay bag and put it in and I got her in for the time being until I got home. So once that was done, I went and finished putting away her stuff. So she was in the trailer for probably a half an hour before I could even finish doing what I needed to do. But lesson learned, I will not be going to a horse show by myself anymore. At least not until I know for sure that I'm going to be ready and I mean I kind of had a coach but at the same time I was kind of on my own so I mean it, I don't really blame the people who run the show at the time but at the same time I kind of do because the temporary stalls were supposed to be a solid structure so it wasn't just my horse that freaked out over it it was the other 10 roughly horses that were in that structure that had to be saved from there and had to find a new stall for them, which honestly wasn't my personal problem, but I honestly felt bad because I've grown up with most of those girls and it's just kind of like, you know what, they paid for a stall and it collapsed. Like they're lucky it didn't happen overnight, but you know what, I'm not going to worry about that. Halters are replaceable, but I'm a little upset that my leather halter got broke, so now I have to try and find a piece to fix it, but honestly, I would rather that than have my horse injured, which is to piss off when they have tarps flapping and it's just really loud. It honestly sounded like there was gunshots going off with how loud the tarp would snap, but nothing you can really do about it. It was just annoying, I was angry, I was tired, and it overall it was just so annoying. And I know I've been saying that throughout this entire thing, but it's true. If you're going to be throwing a show, you should know that your structures are solid and they're fine and everything's going to be okay. And as for my horse getting loose, I honestly do blame the tarps flapping because every other time we've been there, she's been fine. And as far as the extra warm-up goes, I wish they would have like speakers 
outside of the barn so you could hear what they're announcing because otherwise when you're outside or in the stalls or wherever you can't hear anything unless you're in the actual arena which honestly isn't exactly a great idea but whatever at least it was only x-ray warm-up so i'm not gonna like worry about it but it's just a little it's a nuisance honestly but yeah um not gonna worry about the extra warm up. I mean, it's X rails. We trotted the one course that we got our fifth in because honestly, I didn't have her under control. I wasn't feeling comfortable after that spook. But yeah, we got through. We did okay. And for my first time going to a show by myself without my mom or my dad or having anyone with me, I thought it went okay. It was stressful, but it was all right. But honestly, I probably won't be going back to that show just because of how it was run and how some of the people treated the other competitors. Like, the people who ran the show didn't exactly treat me or my horse that great just because I didn't have any help. I didn't have anyone to hold her, but whatever. Um, yeah, but anyways, I guess I should say when I came in there, there was no one to hold my horse like I've been saying and I just tied her up so I could go to the bathroom and she was in a safe spot well I come out of the bathroom and the lady who was running it her daughter comes up to me who thinks she knows everything and she's like um excuse me your horse can't be tied there I'm sorry but what did you want me to do if I left her at the trailer she would have tried to get out she would have hurt herself but whatever honestly it was a lesson learned. It's a show. Anyways, it was a lesson learned and it's a show that I'm probably not going to be going to again just because of how people were getting treated because they weren't there on time because no one knew what was going on or what time we had to be there. But yeah, I probably won't be going back which is kind of sad because it was a nice little local show that you could kind of just go to and it was a nice schooling show but Honestly, probably won't be going back and I'll just save my money for another local show to come up to or I'll save up for something bigger. But yeah, that's my rant because honestly, I just needed to get that out. And you know what? My vlog wasn't very pretty. I was just swearing and yeah, I don't want that kind of content on my channel and I didn't want people to see me that angry, that pissed off and that tired of just everything that went down. But anyways, I got to see some of the girls that I used to see all the time, and I still will because we're all kind of from the same city, but yeah. So anyways, guys, um, again, sorry I was going to do the show vlog, but I needed to do the rant instead. So I hope you enjoy, and I mean, I'm kind of considering doing these rants again, kind of like what Raleigh Link does, but kind of on, I guess, my own twist, kind of like, you know my opinion on blank or what I would use on blank or whatever type things as I'm kind of liking those just kind of thinking about them but anyways that's just an idea that I might do every once in a while but until then I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think of these because honestly I don't want to keep making them if people don't want to see them so yeah, as always, I hope you enjoyed and I'm sorry about having to get this out on a rant on here about a little show. But anyways, it's better to get it out than to keep it inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed and as always, thanks for watching. Bye!